Abadabada! Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. You guys might recognize this island as the submarine island, uh, because it's got a secret submarine base in it, as you guys can see right here. Uh, but essentially, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a quick build, hopefully this is a quick build, of a tiny submarine. We're going to build it big enough for one or two people, and um, yeah, let's hope it works. I don't know whether it will. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so we are building a submarine. It's going to be very small because that's our job. We're going to we're going to build a small one. It's not going to be tiny, like it's not going to be the smallest submarine in the world, but it's it's definitely going to be quite small. Anyway, uh let's get on with it. Here we go. So, uh, if we put these pieces like this, and we put these pieces like this, it's going to be quite an ugly one. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It is going to be very ugly. However, it being ugly is not necessarily a bad thing. Not really. Um, but, yeah, it's not necessarily a good thing either. So, um, there you go. If it's got a face that's that flat, I'm not going to like it. No siree. We're just going to go straight for this. Here we go. Go backwards with this. And then, if we put another piece on, like this, we can actually start with these pieces again. Yes. And that is going to be a cool looking nose. Yeah, and then as soon as we get this far, we can actually put one of these on. Yeah, and then we're going to have a super round faced thingy my bobby. Oh, this is going to be great. Okay, so, I'm actually going to round this all out, and then I'll be back with you guys once we've got a nose. Okay, so, we've actually built it like this. This isn't obviously all of it, but... Uh, I'm going to delete the top piece, so we're going to have it quite flat on the roof. Uh, we're literally going to go ahead and copy this to the bottom, if we can. So, literally grab this. Here we go. Go backwards. Go upwards. Go sideways. And go the other side. And we can, like, cut this. Oh, no. I didn't mean to cut it. Alright, there we go. Flip it over. Take it underneath. Uh, and essentially, that's it. There we go. Right, merge this with this. And voila! There is the front of our submarine. Beautiful. Alright, so, it's going to be relatively small, so we're just going to go like this backwards. Um, we're going to have to build a back end to it, and the way I kind of want to do that is we're going to take a bit of this, like a section of it, like this, pretty much. We're going to copy it, turn it around, take it to the back, and we're going to just plaster it on there. Beautiful. Yeah, so, essentially then, all we need to do is attach all of these together, like so. There we go. Do all of these. This is going to take a little while, but shouldn't take too, too long. There we go. Nice. And fill in the top piece like so. Yep. Uh, a little bit better than that. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so this is going to be our main hull. Um, it's small. Yep. And it's supposed to be. So there you go. Okay, so there we go. That's beautiful. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of this area right here. Delete that one as well. We're going to delete all of these bottom pieces too. Yes, and we're going to go straight for another one of these. I want the back end to look longer than the front end. And this is the easiest way of doing that. So uh, that's what we're going to do. There we go. All right, beautiful. Put one of these on the back end too. Yep, like so. And that is going to be fine. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be epic. I'm not very good at submarines. I'm not going to lie. And I haven't done any maths in order to actually make this work. It's just going to be luck, pretty much. Uh, but essentially, we're going to cap this off here, uh, literally just like that. Uh, then we're going to try and put a little motor actually in this area. It's going to have a motor right here. Motor! Yes! We're going to go with a medium one, and we're going to shove it right there. Okay, good. We're then going to surround this motor like so. Try and make it look at least a little bit beautiful. <laughs> a little bit beautified. All right, actually, we could do this. This is a good idea. Right, do that. Yes. Go underneath and turn it around. Yes. Okay. Uh, on the back of this motor, we're going to put a prop, which is a propeller. And we're going to shove that right there. Good. And then behind there, if we can, we're going to put a control surface, uh, which is going to allow us to turn. We're going to need a small one, actually. That's large. All right. Hold on. Small. Oh, too big. Okay. Interesting. All right, delete those three. We'll put a rudder on, and this should be fine. Okay, so we'll put in, that in there like that. Uh, it's very basic right here right now, 
but it should, in theory, work. It should work. All right, do that there. Go ahead and just um, just put this right here like this. Go ahead and do the same thing down here like that. Block off this entire piece uh, like so, and like so, and like so, and then fill in this back bit. There we go. So, we won't sink, and we do have propulsion. Nice. Yeah, this is good. All right, so now we need a way of getting in and out. Uh, and essentially, I think we need like a mini conning tower. So we're going to delete this. Quite big. Oh, wow. What have I done here? What is this? What are these things? Uh, I didn't mean to put these in. I don't know what they are. All right, delete all of those all the way to the front. There we go. Nice. Uh, and what we want to do here is, whoa, not create a hole. We want to flip this around so it'll fit in here. One, two, three. Okay. Yep. Put that right there. Awesome. Delete these. All right. Yep. Okay. Turn it around. Press U. Bam. Put that there. Good. Conning tower is going to go. Oh. Conning tower is going to go right here. Yes. Okay. It's only going to be a tiny one because it kind of has to be. But, um, hatch. Yep. We don't want an electric one. I just want a. In fact, one of these. Yeah. Okay. This looks like a submarine hatch to me. Uh, so that's going to go there. We're going to have this filled in. Okay. We're going to go up with this. Uh, enough for us to actually crouch in there. Which I believe is about that much. There we go. Oh, that's quite tall. Maybe this high, actually. I think we should be able to crouch in there. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it is possible. Highly possible. Okay, so we're just going to do this to the front of the conning tower. Like so. And then... This, like so, and then we're just going to fasten all this together, and it's going to look beautiful. It's going to look great. Okay, good. Grab one of these, put it uh, there, like so, make it come downwards, if we can. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Do exactly the same thing on the back, and that should work fine. All right, fill this in. Yep. Put this piece on here, like so. And fill that in. There we go. We want another one of these, essentially, is, is all we want. Okay, put that uh, there. Good. Fill this. All right, nice. And we're almost ready to get inside. I'm going to put a camera right here. And it's going to be one of the bigger ones. One of the bigger cameras. Um, reason being is because it has IR, right? That's the difference? Yeah, this will... Oh, field of view. And we can put infrared mode on. So we can actually see in the dark. That's a good thing. There we go. Nice. So we got our little camera. We need a little seat in here. I'm not going to make it beautiful in the inside. But I might do that eventually. I don't know. We'll see. We'll just put a pilot seat right uh, here. Okay. We need a monitor. Which is going to be quite large. Probably. Here we go. Um, yeah. Like that size. Yeah. Good. Okay. Make this bigger. Like so. Get our little monitor, this one, put it on the roof, and flip it down. Yes, all right, that's awesome. Fill that in right there, fill this in all the way around here. We need this to be a uh, ballast tank, and we need to do the same thing back here. So we'll have a ballast tank, how big is this? I'm pretty sure it will be around this size. This size, yes, good. Uh, this might be a bit too long though, uh, for us to not have ballast in here. However, we do still need fuel. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Um, and instead of using a custom fuel tank, which we could do, we're going to use the normal fluid tanks, which uh, I'm using for, I don't know. It just seems like a cool idea. I think they look quite cool, so we'll use them. There we go. Good. Um, we obviously need a way of pumping in the fuel and stuff, but that's something we can work on. Um, yeah, let me do the back of the conning tower, and I'll be back with you. Okay, so the back of the conning tower is exactly the same as the front of the conning tower, uh, essentially. Yeah, so it is. Uh, good, right, so that looks pretty ugly because it's too long. Uh, we can make it shorter. Yeah, we can make it shorter. But I kind of think it should go more forwards if we do that. Um, kind of, yeah. All right, hold on. Let's just um, make it a little bit bigger, like this. Cut it, move it backwards too, and then paste it again. And that looks a lot better, I think. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. That's good. Um, we do kind of need a way of getting on. So there'll be... Oh, they won't need ladders. We won't need ladders. 
Um, but what we do need is a little bit of weight. And that's in order for us to actually stay stable in the water uh, to begin with. So uh, wherever the center of mass needs to be, around here, we can just throw in a bunch of weight. There we go. All right, now we need like a keel kind of thing. There we go. And let's just go ahead and just flatten that off there like that. Flatten off the front with a longer one. And that looks okay to me. All right, let's see if it, if it floats. Almost perfect. Almost. Uh, it's not quite perfect. Um, there is something that I do want to use here. And it might work, it might not. So, um, Ak Original actually put a stability system on one of my ships. This one. Uh, and we're going to use it. Mini sub. We're going to use it. So, let me go grab the microcontroller. And I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so this is the microcontroller right here. All we need to do is grab it, cut it, and go back to the mini sub. Yes. Now we just need a way to somewhere to put this. Uh, it can go anywhere. Um, we're just gonna shove it at the back on the wall. Yeah, it might as well go on the wall actually. Here we go. Backwards, upwards. Turn it around. Paste it. Merge it, and that'll be good. So, uh, what we need is a tilt sensor. That's actually gonna go right here. Uh, so tilt. Sensor, yep, go ahead and point it to the left, I believe, like this. All right, grab this, connect it to tilt roll. Good. This is an active stabilizer. We don't have one. We don't need one. This is Finn's left. Okay, so um, the, the way that I've seen this microprocessor used is the fins have been at the back. Uh, but on submarines, they're usually at the, well, sometimes they're on the conning tower, but usually at the front. We're going to put them on the front, and we're going to hope that it looks okay. So, uh, essentially, we don't need to make it look pretty to begin with, uh, but we need it like this. Uh, like that. There we go. Uh, and we might as well make it look pretty, so grab one of these. Go ahead and put it there. Do this. Actually, wait. Do this. Actually, yep. And then do this. And do this. Alright, that looks better than it did, I think. There we go. So, we've got diving fins. Um, which are also technically stabilized, but whatever. Here we go. So, right. I've not used this for a submarine before. Just letting you guys know. We need a battery. Uh, we need a big one. <laughs> we do. We actually need to put one of these in. Um, which is okay, I guess. It should be fine. There we go. It's big, heavy, but um, should work. Uh, and that's good. We need a pumping system too, but that should all come in time. Don't worry. So, this is a speedo. Oh, we need a speedo. I'll actually put that there. Here we go. Speedo. Yes. Linear speed meter. Shove it right there. Logicify that to the bottom of this. And that should work fine. Yes. Okay, so this is for forwards. Uh, up and down. Uh, we don't have an up and down, so we'll leave that for now. Left and right. No, A and D is going to be for this. And that should be fine. Connect this to here. Connect this to here. Connect this to here and here. And there. Connect that to there. Okay, good. Um, we need the video, obviously, to be connected to there. And I'm just going to connect this to one. Alright, cool. So, wait, I've put fuel tanks in. We don't actually have an engine. But we should probably have a generator at some point. We don't have that yet, uh, but that's okay. Right, so, in theory, if we spawn in now, it should float. Oh, the battery at the back is heavy. <laughs> battery at the back is heavy. Okay, get rid of this. Get rid of this weight. Delete that, actually. Put it there. Okay, right. Is it going to work this time? That battery is too heavy. We need a smaller battery. Okay, we can do that. Batteries... We're going to put mini ones on the walls. Four of them. I don't think they're as heavy or anywhere near as heavy. So we'll just link them all up together. Connect that to there. Connect that one to there as well. I like symmetry. Uh, connect this to here. Here, here, and here. Spawn it in. Come on. Be buoyant. It's buoyant enough. All right. Let's jump in. And I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. Here we go. In the top. Yes. We fit. <laughs> Perfect. Go downstairs. Good. 
Uh, these can actually disappear. We don't need them. Uh, and off we go. Yes. Okay, we're going to put a clamp on that so we don't use too much electricity. And that's going to be fine. Okay, so if you're wondering what a clamp is, it essentially just limits the throttle. Um, or limits a number. It doesn't necessarily have to be a throttle. Um, but we're going to shove this on here like so. Uh, it's going to be limiting this. So that goes to there. Then this goes to uh, WNS. Good. Um, then essentially, if we click on this, we can limit the max value to 0.3. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to go with 0.2. It's going to be a slow submarine. Uh, but that should be fine. All right. What else do we need? What else do we need? Uh, I didn't turn the monitor on for some reason. I don't know why I did, didn't do that, but we could have. Uh, these don't dive. These don't actually allow us to dive. And our ballast tanks currently do nothing because uh, we need pumps. But if we grab a pump, we'll only use maybe even two. We might use two, but probably one. Okay, so one for in, one for out. This one's in. Okay, so actually we got to... Oh. We got to manage to put that in the right place. So delete this. We need to... Oh. Okay, hold on. We need to put this. Let me just do one side. Hold on. We essentially need to put this like that. There we go. So this will have in. Oh, this is out. Okay, this is fine. Fluid. We need a fluid pot to go on the top. And a fluid pot to go on the bottom. Yes. This is going to be very slow at actually doing what it's supposed to, but that's fine. Connect that to the batteries. Good. Okay. So that's pump out. The pump in is going to be on the bottom. <laughs> but essentially, it's going to work the same way. The exact same way. So, we do this. Um, that is correct. Amundo. That is actually correct, I believe. And, yeah, that's fine. All right, good. Uh, get the fluid pot from above. Just grab this one. Put it on the bottom. On there. Put it on inside as well. And connect that to the electricity, too. There we go. Right, so... We just need to do this same setup on the front, and then we're good to go. I'm pretty sure one ballast tank is a little bit bigger than the other, but essentially that shouldn't matter. Um, we will put some sort of system in to, to work with that, but um, we just need a pump. We need the pump. Where's the pump? Is there a pump on this screen? Yep, yeah, there it is. Okay, so I want it to work the exact same way on this one. So, uh, pretty sure this was out. Yes, that is true. Uh, was that out? Hold on. Is this out? Yes. All right. It actually worked fine. Okay. So out is on the top. In is on the bottom. We know how this works now. So just put that there. This should be in. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> put that there, but flip it. Turn it around. There. So that's out. Yes. Good. Uh, then we just need these. One there. One on the bottom. One on the top. One on the bottom. Come on. Yes. And that's all right. Okay, so the monitor should turn on. I'm going to have a dial here for battery. No, 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 dials. We need a few dials. So uh, we're going to put actually a bunch of dials across the bottom of here. Um, and we're going to work out what each one does in a second. <laughs> all right, here we go. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Good. So middle one is going to be battery. 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 There we go. This one is going to be speed. Okay, so we'll link that up as we go. Where they're all going to have power. Okay, the pump doesn't actually have power yet. All right, connect that to there, connect that to there. Everything's got power. Good. Uh, what was what? I can't remember. This one's battery. Okay. So, battery's this one. Goes to a battery. Good. Uh, the next one is speed. Goes to speed, which is up there. Uh, ballast tank. Oh, here we go. This is where things get interesting. Um, delete this. We need a fluid meter in both the front and the back. Okay, so meter goes in. Good. Meter goes in back here too. Probably should be in the middle like this. Good. All right, so uh, the level goes to this one. And the level goes to this one. Okay, so this one is front uh, ballast. 
We're not going to have side ballasts because we don't have the room. I mean, we kind of do, though. We might add ballasts later. Back. Uh, rear. 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 Ballast. Okay, right. So we got rear ballast, front ballast, uh, battery. We've got speed. We need something else here. What is it? Depth, probably. All right. Depth. There we go. Good. Uh, we need a de an al mm. We need a thing. We need a depth thing. I can't remember. Depth. There's not a thing. Distance. A distance meter. Here we go. Distance sensor. That works. Okay. Connect this up to here. And I think that one. Yeah, it does. It needs electricity. There we go. Right. We've got a submarine that should work. Everything in it should work. We need to get rid of these. They don't do anything. Uh, what is this? That's just a... Uh, yeah, okay. Get rid of that. Uh, everything should be fine. Let's try it. Okay, so uh, let's jump inside. Yes, there we go. Close this. Go inside here. Close this. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. We don't have buttons for the pumps. Um, one's going to be rear ballast. One's going to be other. Okay, right. So, buttons. Here we go. We need a toggle button on there. On both sides. There we go. This is front ballast in. Okay. Front ballast out. Same on this side. So uh, rear ballast in. And then rear ba oh, ballast out. There we go. Right. So. All that works. Um, I can't remember which way around these are, though. So, this is out. And the same on the other side. This is this is out. This one's in. And this one is in. All right. Everything should, in fact, work. Yes. Oh, this is exciting. This is very exciting. This will be the quickest submarine I've ever made. And if it works, I'm going to be so surprised. We might have to add dive dive plane fins. Um, but we might be okay without. Maybe. Uh, right. Sit in the seat. Press 1. There we go. Press W to go forwards. Very slowly. Yep. Okay. Slow that down massively. Good. In. Front ballast tank. In. Rear ballast tank. Let's see if we can sink this down enough. Let's see if we can. 1,000, 1,000. Okay. We need the rear one to go a bit slower. We need the front one maybe to be a bit bigger. Okay. Slowly keep going down. Does our depth work? Yeah. Two, seven. Okay. Speed, zero. Batteries. Yeah, we might need to add an engine, like generator. Front ballast. Oh, it's not enough. It's not actually enough to, to make us sink. Um, that's okay. Right. This is why we do testing. So, at the back, we've actually got probably enough room to do this. Essentially, if we add this, we need dive, um, things. Dive things. We put one there, and we put one here, which is the same. We, they're going to be our dive things. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. That's good. This is, this is fine. Uh, we need that to be on like up and down. No, up and down is going to control the throttle. And then W and S is going to control the diving. Yes. Okay. This is interesting. If this works, I'm going to be surprised. Okay, so we've got our thing on. Front ballast is actually going to fill up straight away. That's good. Uh, rear ballast, we are going to put in a little bit. Yes, we want it to at least go down a bit. Yeah. Okay. Get it to about 1,700. Something like that. And then we'll start moving. Alright, 1,700. Good. Go forwards. Okay, go down. You might notice that we slow down massively there, but... I've got the controls mixed up a bit. Just a little bit. We don't have enough weight. We need more weight. Okay, that's interesting. More weight. Let's do this. Here we go. Weight along the sides. There we go. Literally just put these on the back. Yes. And put this on the front. 
the other way around. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Bam. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think this looks great. Yeah. Okay, so camera's on. We need to fill in, fill in. Um, the front ballast, uh, the, the tank needs to be bigger. So in order to do that, we actually need to move uh, this monitor backwards. And um, we need to move this chair backwards and everything, uh, which is entirely possible. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right, we full? We're full. Okay, so dive and go. Okay, we need more weight. We need more ballast. Ah, uh, we really do. Okay, but we are underneath the water. We are actually underneath the water. And we are driving a submarine that we've just built in about 20 minutes. That's why it's not the best. But anyway, it works. It totally works. That's awesome. There is one final thing that I want to do today uh, in this video. Uh, and that is to remove all of this backwards. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have a few issues. We need the, the front tank to be bigger. Uh, and the best way of doing that is literally just taking it uh, and moving it backwards. So, grab everything here. Yep. Grab everything. There we go. Uh, if I do this, it might grab too much. Yeah, it is. It's grabbing too much. So, we'll just grab this for now. Put it. Move it backwards a good chunk like that. Good. We still have no way of getting out, uh, by the way. But that's probably fine. Um... Okay, leave everything in the air that is in the air. And we'll just worry about that later. Okay, grab these. Okay, up. Cut. Move this way. Paste. Merge. And fill in all the holes. Yeah, fill them all in. Our front ballast now is huge. What was there? Oh, it's the... Oh. Ah. Okay, right, just put that there. Everything else is fine. Front ballast tank is now massive, so this should allow us to sink. I'm also going to add a tiny bit more weight, uh, just because I think it's the best way, of, well, the easiest way of doing it, maybe? So we'll just put a bit, bit of weight right there, and a little bit of weight right there. Okay, so let's see how it sits in the water to begin with. Yeah, see how it's front, front, um, well, back heavy? Uh, we could put more weight in the front, but we'll just see how it works here. Come on. Inside, close, open, close. We even have an airlock. If we add a little pump up there, we can actually open up the airlock underneath the water. That'd be great. Anyway, fluid in, fluid in. One, go. Okay, down we go. Okay, so essentially we want neutral buoyancy. And I... I we kind of need to know how many blocks are full of water in order to figure that out. Um, but let's just wait and we'll see. So this is going to get full. That's already full at the back. The front one's still filling up. Oh, this might be good. Okay, so we want to go down, please. Oh my. No way. There is no way we've done this. Oh, that is insane. We, we still don't have neutral buoyancy. We're still going up. But a little bit more weight. And we've got this. That is epic. That is super epic. Wow. Oh, there is a slight issue too. Hold on. We need to we need to figure this out. So essentially, if we pressed backwards and we started going backwards, we couldn't go backwards because it's zero. This is the min value. So we need minus uh, 0 0.2, which is essentially the same as forwards. But we should go backwards slower. So let's do that. Minus one. Um, and yeah, it's still got a decent speed on it. So that shouldn't matter too much. I like it. We, I think we've done a good job. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Well, actually, no, wait. I want it to look a little bit better first. Uh, oh, I can't even put anything here. Never mind. All right, well, we're just going to do that, which looks a bit bad, actually. But we're going to do it. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys, well, we're going to do a details on this. So we'll probably end up adding a mini generator and um, painting it. We'll probably paint it a color. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.